lots of people are very intrigued about Sasha Banks going to the Tokyo Dome for Wrestle Kingdom uh, to show up. I, who knows what she's going to do? But uh, just this idea that someone who is a, a WWE made star uh, come, came through the ranks, NXT, WWE, she leaves this year unhappy with what's going on. They seemingly don't freeze her contract, which I, I'm still not 100% sure that I understand what happened there. And now she's going to be doing dates for New Japan. What does this mean for her future? Like, what what are you, he- you hearing anything about this? Do you have any thoughts on Sasha Banks and her current wrestling career? Um, I've heard very little uh, about Sasha. I mean, I had heard when she was, like, you know, released or they let her out of her contract when Raj reported it. It was, I... I was able to confirm exactly what he heard. So Raj was 100% correct from Wrestling Inc. Yeah. I I find I find it very interesting. I you know, listen, she's a wrestling fan. You know, she's not she's not there just to become a celebrity. I, I she's very talented and she will probably become very successful outside of wrestling too, but I uh, I would love to see her in Japan because that division needs something, right? It needs that uh western crossover just like how Chris Jericho did for them and the Bullet Club did for them. I think Sasha being there with the women's division and working with them is great. Uh, And it's up her alley, right? It's something that she's going to enjoy doing. But the big question is, does she go to AEW and is she Paige's or or Soraya's tag partner? Mm -hmm. That's a big story here. Whether or not on on January 11th, she is the tag partner. Because if she is, will this be another punk moment for AEW where, you know, you got... Big name for a division that needs big names. You got Soraya. It would be you tremendous. Got Britt Baker. You got Tony Storm. You have you know Sasha if she goes there. You're building this. Jamie Hader. That's coming up. You're you're building this now with established names and established people that that you know you recognize when you're channel surfing. And part of that game is that, you know, you put on T- TBS and all of a sudden oh, I know her. What is she doing here? This isn't WWE. And then you stick around. Okay. I think she'll she she's she's too young to retire from wrestling. And and I don't see this WWE thing working out. Uh you know, anything could happen, obviously, but we what do you think? Okay, so I'm so curious. Well well the 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 thing that I'm kind of wondering about is this was a they were just they were just far apart on her value and, and the money that, that they were going to have to pay her. And Dave wrote in the observer They don't see her like Becky. They don't see her like Charlotte. But unless you were like a million dollars off per year, why wouldn't you just invest in her and just keep her on your side? And maybe you have to bump the pay of some of the other women in her, you know, in her category, unless the demands were crazy and we don't know what they what they were or that she's already created a precedent of being able to walk out on them. And if, if they give her what she wants, then they're, you know, create the, then, then that shows other talent how to do it and how to get their way. Uh, maybe that could be some of it, but I just don't understand WWE being as rich as they are, like being that, I don't know, being that hard on, on her for wanting a few extra bucks. Like, I don't know, man, she, she's, it, it just seems like you're allowing something to happen that they shouldn't have. They shouldn't let happen, right? They well, have they, the they, money to to sign everybody, and now they're they do. possibly creating what's a moment your ROI? for AEW. But what's your ROI? You know, that's how they see it. Remember, a year ago they started doing that that thing where they have re, they evaluate your value based on you know uh, social pop ratings. They have like this whole formula on, on your, on your essentially how they determine. It's not like, Hey, I want a hundred thousand dollars. I'm just throwing a number. And Vince looks, he's like, yeah, I don't think you're worth a hundred there. I think you're more like 75. It's more than that. Also her management team is involved in the negotiations too, right? She's not just mm-hmm. sitting there by herself. She has an agent. Mm-hmm. She has this, she has that. A lot of the muddiness comes from that also. I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but when you look at, you know, why can't they just give her, you know, whatever that money is, um, maybe, maybe they're just, you know, they don't see the value in her, which I don't know how you don't, but they, they know better than I do. 
I don't know what that, what that number was that like, she wanted. I, I feel maybe like they don't. Just, maybe they don't know. They're just letting history repeat itself, and they're going to lose Sasha her. would Sasha bring 200,000 more people to AEW? Uh, probably not, but it just creates that moment, right? And WWE is all about creating moments, and they're just creating the moment for the other company. If it By happens. Way, this we, is don't know, we don't know fact. if that's happened. Sasha's three years younger than Bianca and six years younger than Charlotte. That's that's worth something. Yeah, that is worth something. She she's a great young talent in that company that's been there that that's in their system, and they're they're willing to let her go. There's something there. She's thirty, according to Wikipedia. Wow. Yeah, she has she has another she has as long as she wants still in her career. You know, this is our prime. Yeah. But, you know, Garrett, they, they handled her really weird the last couple of years also. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, sure not, she, she she's cold, shown she she has shown that she understands her value, maybe more so than some of the other talent who won't create the same discomfort in the company. Right. Like she's standing up for herself and whether you agree with how she did it or, or not, like that's. Besides the point, she seemingly sees herself a, as what they want everyone to see themselves as, which is a star. And, and that came back which to bite they, them a little bit. They do have. Do we have like a little overrun today, Garrett? I, I don't. Cut, I, I'm guessing out. Lance is not doing the show because he's not doing it with Brian. And so I don't, I think we're OK. No one has told me okay. that. I mean, if, if we're not, I'm sure we'll get a DM here. In, in a I'm second. sure we will. <laughs> we, could, we, we could go like a minute or two if you want. Yeah, but yeah. Like, look at the Let's Mandy Rose situation, right? Look yes. at the Mandy Rose situation. She was she was not a high paid per person there, and the majority of the women in that company are not paid that that much compared to the men. Now, there's metrics obviously that come at play. It's not it's not a, a misogynist thing that I'm that I'm bringing up. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm just going based on evaluating a metrics and you know draw your ability to draw. But Mandy Rose. She made more money in one day than she did her her year of her WWE salary after she was released. Mm -hmm. You know that that's that's embarrassing. If I'm the company, I would be yeah. embarrassed by that. You mean to tell me that she, you you invest all this time and effort, and she's a big national, you know, on national TV, and she has to go and sub subsidize the income. With a side job that you end up firing her, and then you find out that she made more money with that side side job than <laughs> than than uh, all year working for you. I mean, I if I if I was WWE, I'd be like, listen, there, there's a problem here. All crossover that, that's an fans issue. too, right? They're they have all to be crossover all fans. crossover have fans. To be. Yeah, hundred percent. And they're willing to give the money. They, 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 there's a market, right? So she is yeah. a star to some extent. I find it very fascinating their their structure with this, but you know Sasha Banks. I, listen, you, you opened up a quarter of a million at least with Mandy Rose. I mean, maybe you could come back and renegotiate. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I don't know. Uh, very maybe strange. They come back to the bargaining table. Uh, you yeah. know, but at the same time, uh, you know, maybe she doesn't have the same people behind her mate you know I, I always thought that that she and triple h seemed like triple h really uh you know would go to bat for her but maybe maybe that for relationship who? isn't isn't what it what for who it sasha like. yeah I, I think the way that the way that it played out uh affected a lot of the the friendliness mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah especially because he's now has a bigger role there so yeah, and you guys, um, yes, yes, you also have to make an example. You can't be the guy that everybody comes running back to and you give them everything you want also, you know? Yeah. Yep. 